Okay, so good afternoon, sir. My name is Meryl Joyce Colong. I am a second year medical student from Davao Medical School of Foundation. And today, I will be performing the peripheral vascular system examination. Okay, so before we start, may I know your complete name? My name is Nathan Rosero Perez. Okay, and then your age? My age is 12. Okay, and um, your address? Emily Holmes, Kabantian, Davao City. Are you, are you a student or you're working now? I'm apparently still a student. Okay, and then your religion? I'm a Christian. Okay, so for today na as what I have said earlier, um, we'll be performing the peripheral vascular system examination. So for this examination, uh, I will be taking a quick look of your arms as well as your legs and then I will also be performing the anal test. Okay, so the detailed procedure I will explain it later before you perform it. Okay, so do you have any questions before we start? I do not apparently have any questions right now. Okay, so ready ka na? Yes. Okay. okay, so first I will be uh, starting with the examination of the arms. So I will be inspecting first, starting your, uh, with your fingertips. Okay, and then your arms. And then your shoulders. Okay, so upon inspection, no, there is no sign of cyanosis and no pallor noted as well. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, and then for um, the size of your arms and uh, the symmetry, if the size is um, small, which is um, actually proportional to your body, and then um, there is, uh, your both your arms are symmetrical. Okay, and then um, there is no sign of swelling and vidus pattern on both arms okay and then as for the color of the skin it is color brown and then for the nail bed it is pinkish in color which means uh, it is normal no sign of cyanosis too and as for that uh, texture the texture is um, smooth okay so now i will be assessing the temperature of your skin so i will start with um the uh, with your hands okay surface and then arms and then shoulder okay. Okay. okay so uh both your arms and your hands are warm okay so now um i will be palpating your radial artery so you should be uh, um actually the anatomical uh, position or place of your radial artery is the one you can feel here okay yes that is your radial artery so I will check the radial artery on the right hand first okay on the other hand okay so um, the pulse on both hands are brisk and there is no arterial insufficiency okay so um, there is no need to check for um, the brachial artery so now, uh, I am going to um, palpate for uh, an epitrochlear node. So could you please um, angle your hand in the 90 degree angle, okay? I'll support your arm, okay? And then I'll be placing my hand 3 centimeters above the video of the condyle. Okay, on the other hand. Okay, so there is no... Uh, swelling or enlargement of the uh, or no presence of epitrochlear nodes. Um, while I was palpating, did you feel any pain? No, pa, wala naman. Okay. So now uh, we will proceed with the Allen test. Okay. So for the Allen test, now this is um, basically to assess now the arterial blood supply of your hand. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to um, squeeze tightly your hand. And then I will be um, compressing both the radial artery and the ulnar artery. Okay, could you please open your hand? I will be releasing first the radial artery. Okay, so there is flushing. Okay, do the same thing. Okay, open your hand. I will be releasing the ulnar artery. Okay, so there is flushing as well. Okay, on the other hand, do the same thing, please. Okay, open your hand. I will be releasing the radial artery. Okay. 
Use your hand again. Open your hand. I will be releasing the ulnar artery. Okay. So both hands, no, there is flushing. So which means we have a positive Allen test. When we say negative Allen test, uh, ito yung times na pag release ko yung artery, your hands will uh, remain pale or cold. Okay. So next, I will be examining your legs. So could you please lie down? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I will be inspecting first your legs. So, as for your legs, no, um, upon inspection, there is no presence of, uh, uh, no sign of cyanosis and pallor. And then, um, as for the size of both legs, okay, I will be checking. So, the size is um, small and um, both legs are symmetrical. And then, um, the, there is no um, presence of swelling on both legs. Okay. No presence of venous pattern as well. And then, as for the color of both legs, um, they are colored brown. And as for the nail bed, okay, they are pinkish in color, so which means uh, there is no sign of cyanosis. As for the texture of your legs, okay, the texture is good. Could you please um, raise your right leg, please? And then I will also be checking the plantar surface of your feet. And then I will also be checking between your toes. The other foot. Okay, so, um, so far, no? Um, there is no presence of abnormal pigmentation and no scarring and rashes and ulcers noted. Okay, so now I will be assessing the temperature of your legs. Um, the back portion of my fingers. Okay. So the legs and your feet are warm. Okay, so now I will be um, palpating for the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, which is um, located below your inguinal ligament. So would, be, would it be okay if I lower down a little bit your first? Okay, it's definitely enough. So, I will be using my fingers. So, I will start palpating or um, checking for the horizontal group. Okay, on the other side. In the field of pain. Okay, I will also palpate the vertical group. In the field of pain. One. Okay, so that's good. So, there is no. Um, tenderness and um, swelling or enlargement of the lymph nodes. Okay? Then, now I will be um, palpating for the femoral pulse. Okay, on the other side. Okay. Now, I will also be palpating for the popliteal pulse. Also be um, checking no, for the posterior tibial pulse. Relax now, relax. Okay. Uh, get it to Okay. On the other leg. Okay. Then uh, I will also be 
uh, palpating for the dorsal pedis pulse. Okay, on the other side. Okay. So now, I am going to check for any presence of edema on your legs. Okay, so there is no um, presence of edema. Okay, so you may sit now. Okay, so overall, no, sa ating peripheral vascular system examination, there were no um, any abnormalities uh, noted. Okay, so which is a good thing. Okay, so to educate you a little bit, no, um, it's really important to take care of our peripheral uh, vascular system. Okay. Lalong lalo na pag uh, meron sa family ninyo na diabetic or hypertensive, yung mataas ang blood pressure. Okay, so to to keep or to have a healthy life, to have a healthy life, no, to avoid um, any diseases related to the peripheral vascular system, to make sure to have a high fiber diet and then uh, bawas-bawasan natin yung pagkakain ng fatty foods. Okay? So, do you have any questions? So, uh, less, uh, more fiber food, yes, and less fatty food. Yeah, so most likely um, have, uh, you should eat more vegetables or fruits and then lessen natin yung mga fatty foods like uh, fast foods, mostly, or mga pito. So like, less and fast foods or like no fast foods, then more vegetables. Yes. Okay, so do you have any cl clarifications? No. Nana, please thank you so much and have a great day.